as young people of Mbale, we are sitting to dialogue on the post-election and how we went through the elections. We want to discuss on an assessment of the electoral period in the district from young people who were actively taking part in the elections and other young people in the community. The youth participated well. However, the challenges that uh, took place in the, an election also cut a cut across that most of uh, the injustices that were in the elections were majorly being spared by the youth. I want to clearly state that uh, elections as usual, uh, especially in our country, were not free and fair, mm -hmm. as you are aware. Uh, to the ex ex especially this time around, uh, most of our politicians were affected by the pandemic. They were not in the COVID pandemic. They were not in a position. Uh, not all of them were not in, were in a position to reach to the voters and talk to them about what they are going to do for them. <laughs> Personally, I worked on a machine during that election process. By the challenge we got as we officials, people came, voters came with a biased mind that all officials are <laughs> of a certain party because of um, Someone would come, you tell him, put your thumb on the machine. Someone can respond. Mm -hmm. There are votes in that machine. Yet personally, that machine it came empty. We could open, put a password when 10 voters were there. There's also another incident at the polling station where I went to report from. The rector supervisor was was squeezed at actually was under pressure from the youths of a certain party. He could show a vote which he thinks it is invalid. But the gang could say no, that is valid because it belongs to their party. They would not allow the, the present <coughs> director official to determine by his own, because they have on their guidelines to determine the valid and non-valid votes. As young people, what, what was our role during the, the, the election? As younger people, I see and know that we had a lot to do, but only that my, our youth or my fellow youth not understand their responsibility in this election. But one of those that were meant to do one were to also directly participate in voting. Secondly, we also meant to be voted in whatever position that one could manage to contest for. Then Echidala also meant to protect this the voting process. During this election here, I saw a number of youth engaging in the sensitization of other people. This was through social media and the other digital platforms. Telling them come out and go and watch and, and vote. vote. Remobilizing the people. Come out, tell your mother that on this and such a day we are going to elect. I had the role of talking to my fellow youths because we, we the youths are mostly the target by the government because they we are taken as people who are used in dubious acts. So I had the role of calling them, we sit down, we look at ways, how can we suit in the society so that even the old can feel happy when they see us with them. So I had a very big responsibility and task to ensure that I, I mobilize my fellow youth to vote the right candidates because I had a number of candidates I supported in the different offices, right from president up to the rural local councils. 
So as a youth leader, I mobilized my fellow youth because you are aware that uh, this election, uh, majority of the people who voted uh, were the youth. The youth participated so much in this election. Uh, two, we, do that, we did a lot of sensitization uh, to our fellow youth. We were telling our youth that uh, don't vote someone because he has given you money, but vote someone because he has those credentials of, be, of representing you at a different level. Because as I told you that uh, politics uh, is all about our life, our daily life, how we live and how we want our community to look like. We have had, we have had elections and it's done. What's the way forward for inclusive leadership as, as young people? work with the elected leaders. After our leaders swearing in, there there will be no Zimbabwe Wagundi or Nabade Wagundi. Whether for you we for Koni and Wanyoto is now the MP or Koni is the MP, she's the one going to lead you. Now we have to come together and forget the past. Work with her. If she's in office, don't mind about whether you voted her or not. You go, she's now the lead of that area to bring development. If there's any issue you want to present that concerns the people behind, you go and present the issue to that. The first thing that we should also have in mind is now to first act, uh, to accept what happened or what has happened. And we have a common goal. Which common goal is now to all be focused on to development. Once all will be focused on development, we shall know who to demand, who to bring, and who to utilize once it has been brought. We need to <coughs> accept the fact that uh, politics is done. Our politicians now need to understand that uh, it is now time to work for their people, to their communities, because uh, five years are short and we have another election ahead. So the moment you said that uh, for you, you now want to only work for people who have voted you, you are lying to yourself. So I would really I uh, think that it is wise for politicians, especially the ones we are put in office, to ensure that they include everyone in national development. That is the only way we can attain our target as a country. What's your recommendation to the Electoral Commission and other stakeholders for the next elections? Uh, first of all, Valina Usao Amateka Ngobude Buchari. Because I've been to Babileta too late. Era abantu bagenda mu election ngati bana bakutegera chi chigenda mu maso chovola abo buvuyo bwalimu okubibwa we need to sensitize our masses to come to the ground and tell them if it is a big task for them why can't them uh, tell the presiding officers to come and oh why can't they assign another new uh, task force to play that role of sensitizing the masses about an election because most of the people never turned up during an election, especially after the presidential elections. The, the next elections, there was a lot. There was a lot of voter turn. Uh, there was a, a lot turn up for elections. So nature of our police, we have never elections because election normally is very yabo. Have a cool embassy. We have a day. For example, we have a we have Mukama na Balala. The Electoral Commission should uh, do a lot of sensitization to the grassroots. I mean, um, talk to people, to the communities down here. Because most people actually, as she said, they had her say, they did not participate because they had fears in them. You know, they thought chaos is going to come up and, you know, that all that was going to uh, bring up maybe violences during the election period. So they need to come down to the grassroots and do sensitization, uh, talk to the masses down here. What are your recommendations on how we can have peace after elections? We need to understand that. Uh, Politics is a game, just like my colleague stated it clearly. Mm. And those uh, who don't understand politics are the ones who, who don't want to always reconcile. Because one scholar has always equated it to a monkey's dance, that if you don't want to be 
touched by tail of a monkey, then you don't join their dance. So that is politics. We need to understand what politics is about. I also want to put one scholar in the name of Jeff Kennedy, who says that let us not fix the blame on the past, but rather accept our own responsibility for the future. That now after politics is done, as a community we need to come back, we need to come back together and demand for services from our people we have elected. Because under our Dochet as Youth Council, after the general elections, for us we called for a reconciliation meeting to unite all the youth and forge a way forward. This is a two-way traffic thing to be done. It calls for an individual and government in general. As an individual one, we should also change our mindset. And after an election, life has to move on. If you supported your candidate and he lost, we need to get back on the board and see what to do. Even as a candidate, if you also didn't make it, it does not mean that you should promote hatred or fight development of your, your opponent, but rather support him.